So let's continue our discussion of our beloved periodic table. Now in the previous video we talked about the first group which was the group for alkali metals. Now let's talk about group 7. And group 7 is also known as the group for halogens. So let's talk about some of the properties of halogens. Well, halogens vary from gases to solids. As you see here, chlorine is a gas while iodine is a solid. So this is as you go down the halogens, halogens change from gases to solids. Now the next thing is that halogens are usually colored gases and they exist in a diatomic form so they're also diatomic for example chlorine exists as cl2 fluorine exists as f2 now let's talk about something else well halogens are also poisonous and if you are doing any action that involves any halogen in the chemistry lab you should work under the the head fume now Let's talk about some of the trends in the halogens group. Now, let's see. So, now we're going to talk about trends. So, as you go down the halogens group, you notice that the atomic mass increases. Now, it starts with fluorine at 18.9 and it goes to iodine to be 126. So, Due to that, the boiling point increases because the mass increases. Now, also one thing to mention is that as you go down the group, the color gets deeper. If you ever go to the chemistry lab and you work with iodine, you'll find that it's kind of blackish orange color and if you heat it it gives off purple fumes so as you go down the group the color gets deeper now also one thing to mention is that as you go down the group density increases and you can relate to that simply by the formula density is equal mass over volume and if the mass increases the density also increases now, lastly, we're going to talk about reactivity. And as you go down the halogens group, reactivity decreases. Now, that's that for the halogens. In the next video, we're going to continue our discussion of the periodic table. And we're going to talk about transition metals and noble gases. So stay tuned and good luck.